Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Bricks Below, back here with a city update. Uh, now, in this city update, I haven't actually done much, many changes um, yet since the last time you've seen the city, but mostly because I kind of want to talk about my plan going forward. And so, this is more of a planning kind of city update. Now, I have decided to make a major change to the city, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But first, let me give you guys kind of a rundown of where I am at and where my headspace is with kind of what I want to do. So, currently, the city. Um, the way I built it is basically any modular buildings you see, um, they have the original base plate and they're just on top of a plate, um, a standard Lego plate. Um, now the size of that plate just kind of depends, but it's just one plate, uh, I guess, tall. And so that means that the roads are just directly on the hardwood floor. So what that means is that there's a lot of currently empty space, such as this area over here in the back. Um, there's this empty space where mostly where the road tracks are. Where there's nothing there and i kind of don't like that because i kind of want to fill in it fill it in and kind of have this whole area filled in with lego studs at least so what i've decided is basically i'm going to put base plates underneath the entire city uh, and basically make the entire city on top sit on top of base plates now this is a very costly endeavor um the standard base plate which is a, a lego one a 32 by 32 is about $7.99 directly off of Lego. Now I've done calculations and for the minimum of plates I would need, I need a, a, at a bare minimum 48 plates, which comes out, if you do the math, that comes out around, up to around uh, roughly um, $383. That's just to put the Lego standard base plates underneath. Now this comes with some caveats. The first of all, not this bed, the way the, the way the bed frame is, it's not, doesn't fit every Lego plate. So there will have to be some cutting done. That's one of those caveats. Like I said, the other one is just the price, the expense of it. So what I've decided to do is basically go with this. Now, I know this may cause up some controversy, but what this is, is this is the Dollar General brand um, base plate. And these are only $1.25 each. Um, Dollar Tree actually went in on their, up on their prices by 25 cents. So these are $1.25. Now clearly the price of how much I would have to pay for these if I wanted to fill the whole city is much, much cheaper. At $1.25, really I would only be paying, end up paying about $60 um, in order to fill in the city, which is a huge difference and a huge cost saving measure. Um, based off what, how many I would end up needing. Again, that's to fill the entire city. The other reason I've decided to go with these is because these are gonna be kind of the bottom floor. So in a lot of areas, you won't see these um, as clearly, which is kind of the whole goal. So that's why another reason I've decided to go with these. The other thing too, is that I'm gonna have to do some cutting. Um, as I was saying, the bed frame won't fit these exactly. So in a lot of areas, I'm gonna have to cut base plates. And I would rather cut these, um, Dollar Tree brand base plates versus the standard Lego one, just because I kind of like the original ones and cutting Lego is also just doesn't sound as pleasing for me. So I'd rather much cut these than the standard Lego base plates, especially for the price. Now, all this being said, this was kind of my initial plan and it's still my initial plan. The goal as a short term, short term goal is to kind of fill in the whole city, but in my last city update, somebody asked me a question, and I'm gonna put the question here on screen. Why don't I make, and the gist of the question is, why don't I make my city, um, or why don't I mills plate the city? For the longest time, I didn't wanna do it just because again of cost, and the other reason is the space of the bed is kind of limited in terms of the height. Whenever this bed frame comes down, um, there's a lot of buildings that are just barely getting by. So in order to do so, I would have to raise the bed or find a way to lower the, the buildings, but it, they're kind of, you can't really go lower. So in making this mills plate, it would take a lot of effort, but I want to show you guys what I've done here. So as you can see, this is the boutique hotel. And what I've done is I've basically put it on a mills plate. Now I did this mostly just to kind of test out how it would look and also just get an idea of kind of what it would take to do this. What I've done here is I've actually used the original base plate 
um, and just added bricks um, and plates. And I actually I had a couple of these from uh, when I went to the Lego store um, months ago. Um, and if I decide to go with this, which I'm leaning towards, I'm going to buy more of these. So, as you can see here, um, it's not bad. I kind of really, really like the way it looks. Um, I definitely like the, the secure, I, I guess the more, uh, how do I say it? Like, it feels more secure. Um, so I'm really digging the mills idea. So what would I have to do in order to fit these in the bed, underneath the bed? Because that's, at the end of the day, that's my biggest constraint. That and money. So the first thing is kind of the cost of these bricks and everything. Um, I have enough bricks to do this. Um, I, I think I should have enough, but I'll need to get more. But something else I did, and again, this may be controversial, is when I went to the Dollar Tree, I found these. And so I bought one pack just to kind of test out how I, it would be to fit these in. And I've actually been able to um, use just about every brick underneath here um, is from this Dollar Dollar Tree set. But now these these are original Lego pieces, and so is the original base plate. Now because I'm using the original base plates, or my plans are to use the original base plates from um, the city here, that means that I will be able to save more money on base plates. So that's a good thing. So overall, I'm really, really leaning into this, and I think I will make my city um, a mill plate city. Now again, this is going to take quite some time and effort. Basically, I have to take every modular building I've got down there and retrofit it, I guess, to make it a plate, which isn't too difficult, but it is time consuming. On top of that, I'm going to have to basically raise up the bed. Um, now, this shouldn't be too much because I have went ahead and looked at it, and all I need to do is raise it up by about an inch um, off of where it's at. So I'm going to cut some wood and put some supports underneath it in order to do this. Uh, like I said, this will take time, but I definitely will say I'm very excited about this. Um, mostly because it's it'll be it's something different. Right now, the biggest limitation with the city itself is that um, it's not very, I don't know how to say it, but it's not really secure underneath there. And mostly because all the modular buildings are connected to each other via tiles and so um, that's how I connect them to each other. The problem is underneath the city, underneath the base plates, I end up using just, you know, like I, like I was saying before, uh, they're one plate high. So there's really no connection underneath there. By doing this, I should be able to give it more a more secure connection and this should also achieve my long-term goal of kind of blending the city together. So by doing this, um, I should, and making more mills plates, um, I should be able to fill in the city, um, basically, um, so there won't be any hardwood underneath. Now, like I said, this will take time, and it will be a little bit more costly, but I think it'll be worth it. So, that's pretty much it for this kind of update slash announcement. Um, that's, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Um, this is definitely something that I've considered, but haven't really put much thought into until recently and now that I've kind of done a little bit of research and kind of seen the cost and everything I think this may end up being a better idea so I am excited to do this uh, and like I said just keep up with the channel subscribe like 